Hello everyone, welcome to 90% Native. My name is Michelle and I grow native plants and I garden for the wildlife. Today I want to show you a couple plants that are blooming in my yard here in Northern Virginia in the middle of August. Guys. Okay guys, so behind me here I have a patch of swamp rose mallow and i will put the botanical name up on the screen this is a plant that has beautiful blooms that they can get up to like eight inches across and this is a great plant for wet areas and it likes part sun to full sun in this stand of the swamp rose mallow i also have it interplanted with um, switchgrass which is kind of uh an, an unusual mix because switchgrass likes it a little uh, drier and the swamp rose mallow likes it a little wetter and that's just um, kind of like a happy accident and everything seems to be working well um, with this combination so far you can see those really pretty red leaves of the um, Switchgrass, and I think this one in particular is Shenandoah. And the Swamp Rose Mallow are doing really well here because it is, um, it is damp. There is a bee. It's the Hibiscus Turret Bee, I believe. And it is a specialist insect for the, um, the Swamp Rose Mallow. And these guys get to be, I don't know, they can get up to about five feet tall. So I'm just going to let these live here and see how this progresses over time. But this is, um, unfortunately, the blooms only last a day. And by the end of the day, they don't look that fantastic. So I think I took some video a little earlier today or yesterday morning so that you could see. Um, what they look like in full bloom. So I'll put those up on the screen. Next up, I wanna show you some Joe Pie Weed. I have two types of Joe Pie Weed. I have Sweet Joe Pie Weed and I have Hollow Joe Pie Weed. This right here is the Sweet Joe Pie Weed. And in the middle of the day, this is just covered with pollinators. It's about to go over. Um, so it hasn't been as, as busy the past couple days. Um, but right now, and for about the past three weeks or so, this has just been a buzz with activity. How I can tell that this is Sweet Joe Pie Weed as opposed to Hollow Joe Pie Weed is that this whorl right here has four leaves. So the, the whorls will have three or four leaves. And then if you look down in here, they have pretty much green stems, but where they connect, let me see, you will see that it is slightly purple. So for the Sweet Joe Pie, also you can see right here, the stem is um, purple what it meets the the leaves and then the regular stem is green so this is going to be a little different than your hollow joe pie i also have swamp rose mallow in my back and these plants are a little bit slower than the front yard plants and so here are all these little um, buds just waiting to pop open and put on a fantastic show right here and going way up well over seven feet tall is an example of the hollow joe pie and if i can get back in here i'll be able to show you the difference between that and the sweet joe pie so you'll see here on this leaf whorl there are one two three six there are six leaves going around there so that's not going to be sweet joe pie and you'll also notice the stem is all one color it doesn't have that purplish tone to it where the leaves meet the stem so this is hollow joe pie weed okay so i have been actually doing a little investigating by watching my joe pie weed and i have noticed that the eastern tiger swallowtails seem to definitely prefer the sweet joe pie compared to the hollow joe pie so if you guys find that to be true 
or false or have any other observations about pollinators in relation to the different types of Joe pieweed, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. The final plant I want to show you, and it's actually like a shrubbish type of tree, if you will. And that is one that I have talked about all the time. And this is Devil's Walking Stick. And it's just about to break out in full bloom. And I've actually seen the swallowtails seem to be moving from the Joe Pie weed that was just blooming, now it's going over. And now they're moving over here to the Devil's Walking Stick, which is about to become in full bloom. So if you see right here, that's where the bloom is. Um, and that is on top of the tree. So here's, a, here's one that hasn't bloomed yet. It's a younger one. Here's the stem and you can see all those crazy prickers and then the leaves come out and these things can come out like three feet, so pretty long. And then they just grow up like that. And so how you see the bloom right there, the bloom, if we were at that level would be right here on top and it is just a pollinator magnet this thicket of devil's walking stick is growing naturally in my native plant hedgerow and i absolutely love it because it does bring all the pollinators to the yard and it looks great it adds a lot of greenery the name is intimidating and the trunks are definitely intimidating but if you don't plant them where people are going to grab onto them or fall into them they're definitely a great plant to have in the landscape. The one downside that I do see with the devil's walking stick, and this is just something that I read today, and that is it could be a host plant for the spotted, spotted lantern fly, which if you live on the East Coast is becoming a major pest. Here in Fairfax County, I thought we were gonna be inundated this year. I thought it was gonna be the first year of the spotted, spotted lantern fly, but I haven't seen any yet. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm hoping that that doesn't become an issue, but I will continue to encourage my devil's walking stick because it is just a pleasure to watch all the pollinators hovering over the plant on those blooms. And then when the blooms go over, they turn into berries that the birds absolutely love and the blooms are a really dark purple. So it adds another really beautiful aspect to the landscape, to the garden design. Okay guys, the mosquitoes are eating me up, so I am gonna go ahead and get on inside. If you would like to see a video on my vegetable garden and how it is doing so far, I will link right here. Otherwise, thank you for spending this time with me today. Happy gardening, and I will catch you again next time.